All right, and wrapping up, uh, the customer just wanted to have a little 12 volt battery charging system, and so we just put this together with the Flex Charge charge controllers. We love these little guys; they're bulletproof and have serviced us serviced really well. Everything that we've put them on, and uh, so we have uh, made them a little 12 volt station. He just took it apart, but we were charging this battery, and we again gave him the option to either charge his golf cart or pump water with the ground frost pump up to a storage tank so he has had so much fun charging every battery enabled device that this was the the last thing he wanted to be able to charge any battery that he had um, that's 12 volt with his little charge controller so all he does is take that cord unplug the Anderson connector hook this thing up to a battery and uh, plug it in and we just tested it and we charged that battery till it was full so anyway these are great products a lot of people don't know about flex charge a lot of scientists use them out in on buoys in the ocean uh, uh, seismologists use them for just recording their uh, for their recording devices they're really super tough they don't have any moving parts no fans uh, they are very well potted and they're able to withstand a lot of abuse. I've never had one fail in eight years. Um, as the manufacturer says, they ain't pretty, but they're very functional. And uh, so we use them when we can. They have 12, 24, 36, 48 volt. They've got diversion load controllers. You could put up to 400 amps on these babies. There's so much. Just go to, well, go to our website, practicalpreppers.com. If you have any questions, let me know how you could use these. But they're reasonable. You can, uh, they're a lot cheaper than a Midnight Classic or PT100 charge controller. They don't have the bells and whistles, so you gotta, I've warned you. But uh, these are like $150. They're very, 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 very good, and they'll last you forever. All right, I think that's it from the DC Playground. Um, again, there was, I forgot how many kilowatts are on this roof. Uh, I think there was 15, six, we've got six, six panels for the air conditioner, three panels for the water pumping station here. We have six panels for battery charging, and then we have these four panels running the uh, solar hot water controller. So he's got a hot shower and uh, able to do that without any inversion and no batteries on that. So we tried to minimize the batteries, but I, but everything he wanted to do was a little bit too small with two of these. So we, you saw the upgrade. And on this side, we have the disconnect for the air conditioner, which they love. Um, the HVAC unit, who uh, the owner's name Sonny. And Sonny does a great job. They won't even turn the grid power onto it. They're able to cool their home and they're very happy with the function of Sonny there and then this keeps the batteries uh, charged freezers and CPAP machine it runs at night and uh, he's got some end loop batteries and a lot of other battery charging he's doing off of this circuit of six panels three and it's a six panels three in series and two parallel arrays so all right we'll probably be back this is our third time here we've had so much fun working with us customer he's just been a lot of fun to hang out with and uh, and uh, just really has gotten this concept really enjoys it so we just keep adding we're just doing what he wants us to do and hopefully maybe uh, we've talked about some pond aeration I found a BLDC pond aerator which I can run directly off of solar so that's the next goal here is to do there's three ponds on the property and they've had a couple of fish kills, so we're looking at doing some solar direct um, pond aeration. And uh, he wants to put the solar out on the on this floating island or a floating raft of some sort, but I'm trying to convince him otherwise. We'll see how that project goes. We'll be back for that one. That'll be a fun one. At least I get to go swimming. Okay, we're back at a familiar place. We have been here a couple of times, and we did a little battery upgrade. Uh, the customer really needed more capacity, more storage capacity with all that he wanted to do. And that includes running these freezers, running CPAP machines, charging small batteries, 
uh, hooking an inverter occasionally to do laundry and a grid down, well, you name it. There's a ton of things. There's even a, a septic pump that at times he can run off of this system to to clear that out when it when the grid is down. So we had two uh, 245 amp hours before. Now we have 750 amp hours. A little different battery. Got the Trojan SAGMs that have worked really well for us. Got little meters on everything to check to see. We're comparing the, the Sun Dancer to the Sun Star. Sun Star on the right, Sun Dancer on the left. And the Sun Dancer uses uh, a lot less power based on the meters. We've been tracking it now for six months. And uh, so the compressor in here, startup amperage is higher. I'm not trashing the Sun Star because it's nice to have a DC freezer, but it doesn't compete with the good old Sun Dancer in terms of efficiency for the same roughly the same cubic feet okay that's about it you've seen this uh, we also added a little 12 volt charging station to his system so there's a lot that he can do now with uh, just DC without inverting and then if he needs to invert occasionally to charge a few things he can do that as well so we just used two of these Contico containers and we Swiss cheese them to get cables in and out of here it's a little messy, it could be a little neater, but it's very functional, and uh, that's why these things have lids, so I can hide hide the mess. See, how's that? It looks great now. All right, now I'm going to, yeah, I'll take you out and show you the 12-volt battery charging station, but just a little update. This is, I'm calling this uh, a DC power playground, and we've tried to do everything as much as possible, direct drive and use batteries. I pushed it a little bit. The battery that I left him the last time was just too small. And I was just trying to do everything on solar, but he did need some more storage capacity. So this is the upgrade that we went with.